Okay, in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do is convert either a ISO, IMG, dot bin, or actually pretty much whatever file type your PlayStation 1 game might be uh, using Pop Station uh, to convert it over to be playable on the PSP. First, you got to make sure you have uh, firmware, custom firmware. 3.02 Open Edition B. Uh, to do that, you want to open up your system information on your PSP, and then it'll say right there, it'll say uh, System Software, as you can see, 3.02 OEB. Okay. <clears throat> now that you got that, uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have some files first. Um, what you want to do is, uh, after you've installed 3.02, it should give you the pop station folder. What it has is it has a .exe. It also includes <coughs> the uh, README, um, which is pretty much is supposed to tell you what you need to do. But I don't, I don't pay attention to Readmes anyways. Uh, a lot of times they're a pain, and half the time they're not even in English. Uh, but anyways. What you want to do is uh, first take all the files from uh, the pop station folder and put them in your C drive. As you can see right here, I got them in local disk C. This just makes it a lot easier when you're actually going to convert the files. Uh, okay, so what, what you want to do is that. And then second, you want to make sure you have the ISO. For this one, we're going to use uh, Final Fantasy VII, as you can see. Uh, your method of getting the ISOs up to you. Uh, I know there are torrents out there which you could use. These are illegal if you do not currently own the actual retail copy of the game. Uh, as you can see, that's why I'm using Final Fantasy VII. I don't like ripping um, my own games to my computer because uh, it's time consuming. I actually think it takes longer. Uh, I just like you know letting a torrent download overnight or whatever. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to get the ISO folder. Uh, of the game you want and it makes and extract it. Make sure it's a uh, it's extracted first because if it's compressed, then it won't work. Uh, second, you want to make sure you have it. it's called cygwin one dot dll. What you want to do with this is you you can open up your C drive after you've extracted it. Just Google that uh, to f get the download link, and then you want to go to Windows on Windows XP. Go down to System 32 and then just paste the whole folder in here like right here you can see I have it down here CYGWIN that, that just helps it so uh, pop station can convert your file <clears throat> okay now let's go back to the C drive okay next one I'm going to show you what to do is uh, you want to you, you, first you need the hotshots to uh, eboot off of the PlayStation 3 uh, the online store um, you could get it there there's other methods but that's the legal way to go anyways what you want to do is it comes with it should come with three files a keys dot bin file a document file and the eboot you want to copy all these and paste them in the C drive with the pop station folders and then take the eboot and rename it to base this is what pop station needs in order to for the program to run. Second, put your ISO that you want in there, uh, pretty much the game that you want to convert. As you can see right here, I got Final Fantasy CD1. Uh, you, you don't have to rename it, and the README it says you got to rename it as file.iso, but it doesn't matter. All you got to do is uh, make sure you can go file properties, make sure the file type, whatever it is, you remember that. Like right here, this one's a, it's a .img, it's an image file. So, We'll remember that for future reference. Uh, second, what happens is when you first load up the when you convert something, if you don't put any uh, of your custom pictures in there, what'll happen is you'll go to start, you'll go to game, whatever, uh, and like right here, as you can see, dev hook. Uh, it'll have the hot shots picture right here, and then it'll have the hot shots background. And then I'll have a, a little box right here that has the information about the the game itself. I'll show you how to change all that. And what you want to do is there's three that you need. There's icon zero, 
and these all got to be in .png, just so you know. What icon zero changes, it needs to be 144 by 80 pixels, and what that'll do is th that'll change the smaller picture, like with the dev hook, it would change this picture right here. Okay, and then the second you could drop in there is a pic zero. Now, what I do with this is actually I just opened up a folder in Adobe Photoshop, and what I did is I just made it a transparent background that's 310 by 180 pixels, and then I threw that in there. And basically, what that is that'll just that'll remove the information I was saying that'll appear right here on your PSP. Uh, second is pick one that'll be the background image like as you can see my dev hook it doesn't have anything right now but it'll actually change the background as you notice when you load up some UMDs um, okay after that what you want to go ahead and do is just drop all these pick these uh, PNGs that you've made throw them in here as you can see I have some custom made already uh, I got an icon a pick zero and a pick one and I just drop them in here in the C drive. Okay, next, what you want to go ahead and do is go to you can go to Start Run on your computer, and it'll bring up this window right here. Just type in CMD, and it'll bring up this window that you see right here. Okay. Now we have the files in the in the C drive. So what you want to do is you want to type CD dot dot and it'll go back a folder then cd dot dot again now as you can see we're in the c drive right here so what you want to type in is if you just don't copy the actual folder make sure you have it like right here see how i have pop station and all the files i don't have them actually within a pop station folder so all you gotta do is on the cmd window for this one you would just type pop station dot exe and then your file type, like right here, I have my name. You don't have to rename it again. I have Final Fantasy 7 CD1. So you can just go ahead and type Final Fantasy 7 CD1. And then dot .img because my file type was an image file. Then what you want to go ahead and do is hit enter. And then it'll write the header, the SFO, the icon 0 that you used, the PIC 0, and the PIC 1. And then it'll write the data.psp, the ISO header, the indexes, and the actual ISO. And what this will do is it'll give you an eboot that you will throw in your PSP, and that's what the game uh, will run from. So let's just give this a second. It's actually a lot nicer once you've uh, used your own custom pictures because that hot shots background gets annoying. Okay, the writing special data, done. Okay, so now you got to do is minimize that, go back to your C drive, and as you can see right here, we got an eboot file. Now, what you want to do is you want to take that eboot file and the keys folder that you should have in there. Just go ahead and copy both of these, and what you want to go ahead and do is take your PSP, hook it up via USB, like I'm going to do now. Got mine hooked up USB. Okay, now open up your uh, PSP folder, as you can see, I got all my folders here. Open up PSP from the root, and then go to Game. As you can see, I have the Game 150, all the other folders, music. Just open up Game, and then this is where you want to paste those files. And I got the eboot and keys. I just paste them first because they take a while. So. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder.
And I'm going to rename that folder Final Fantasy 7 D1. So I know it's disk 1. You, you can name it whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then the eboot's going to go ahead and copy over.